Bowl Smokes Coffee proudly presents Non-Typical Nation. I am pumped right up. Awesome, now the work begins. Look at that. So I lost sleep over this and I never took my chance when I had it. We got it, so I am absolutely pumped. Guys, I'm at an absolute loss for words. And I'm feeling really good. Pull down, boys. Now don't try this at home. Laying to smack down. Big bear, big white patch. We just heard the death moan. I never thought I was gonna make it that alone my boat. Great shot, buddy, you just dropped him. Finally, 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 my first bull elk. I'm so excited, guys. It was a, a heck of a day and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I had a ton of fun. I smoked him, yes! Oh, this is awesome, guys. What a year. Non-typical nation is made possible by these great brands. Old Smokes Coffee. Crafted coffee for the courageous. Geopack Hunt, inspired by nature, powered by technology. Geocam, premium quality cellular trail cameras. APA Archery, we are not the same. Badlands Canada, it's all in your approach. Smith Game Calls, you call the shots. Black Widow Innovations, always deadly. Dave Booth Taxidermy, Northern Alberta's foremost wildlife studio. Antler Obsession, designed, tested, and proven for Canadian big game. Kodiak LED Lighting, commercial, truck, and off-road LED lighting. The annual spring black bear season holds a special place in the hearts of us northern hunters. Bear hunting in general is a staple for us here at Non-Typical Nation. The first three episodes of this season, we showcased some spring black bear hunting, and well, we just couldn't help ourselves. We had to slip in one more action-packed bear hunting episode. For episode 10 of this season, we are showcasing non-typical nation pro staff, Manny Schneider, as he embarks after a great big bear in one of the far most northern hunting zones here in Alberta. Enjoy. Hey guys, Manny Schneider here with non-typical nation. We're in northern Alberta, April 10th. Uh, as you can see, there's still quite a bit of snow, but we're gonna get the bait out anyway. We got a few buckets with some old old meat and stuff like that that I've been kind of saving up over the year. So once it warms up, that should get a nice stink to it. Hopefully get the bears coming out. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of keep heading down this hill, cut into the woods and get set up. Here we go, already seen some some tracks that were probably about five days old. Just a bear kind of came down, wandered right past. So we're starting to wake up. It's a good sign. Oh. You know that smell you get when you walk into an apartment building? And you're like, man, what are they cooking in 203? That's what that smells like. Nasty. Popcorn's also really cheap to use. And I like to use this in the beginning of the season. You know, the bears, they're hungry, but their their stomach hasn't quite adjusted yet. So you just want to give them something light or else they're just going to throw it back up. So I usually start with popcorn in the, in the beginning of the season. And then I'll start introducing some meat scraps and stuff like that later on. The other thing we brought out with us is uh, gummies. We got that from Northern bear grub here out of Alberta. And uh, every time I come to just fill up the bait, probably bring some of these. It's got a really sweet smell to it. The bears love that. We 
were just out looking for a second place to set up another bear bait. Came into this area and the one thing that we noticed was there was a ton of deer traffic going through here. So luckily I got a bag of antler obsession with me. So we're probably gonna put that down here somewhere and uh, set up camera. That's why I usually always carry that stuff with me. You might be out doing one thing or another and you come across a spot that's actually really good for deer when you're looking for bear. This time of year, these deer are really gonna be needing these minerals. They're gonna start growing their antlers again. Everything they need for that regrowth is gonna be in here. You just kind of spread it out. Like that. And over time, that's gonna kind of just soak into the ground and it'll, uh, it'll give a place for the deer always to come. They'll just dig it up and be looking at the ground. It lasts a few months. And uh, I've personally been using it for just over a year. It actually works pretty well, so. Yeah, we'll see what we get. So we're here about two weeks ago, and the bears cleared two of these barrels out completely. So we're gonna try something new. We're gonna melt down a bunch of Jolly Rancher hard candies. Once we get it to like a syrup, we're gonna pour it, pour it over a stump and then uh, it'll harden up, give the bears something to lick at for a little bit. Now we know where all the popcorn went. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Old Smokes Coffee, crafted coffee for the courageous. So we uh, filled the baits there a couple days ago. We uh, got quite a few pictures of a real nice bear. So we're gonna go sit in the tree stand for a few hours today and just uh, kind of get a feel for the bears when they're coming in and out. And uh, hopefully we can get some good footage of that. We got, uh, Black Widow PX2s. Those should be nice and deadly. So yeah, we'll head down, cut into the woods, and get up in that stand. Nice bear, like a perfect coat on him. <laughs> Just came in and watched him. I don't know how long it's been, maybe over half an hour or so. But I think he just got a sniff of us. So he was kind of unsure, wandered off. It's <clears throat> still really early, so I'm gonna be gonna be a little picky for now. Wait and see what else shows up.
This segment is brought to you by Geopack Hunt, inspired by nature, powered by technology. We got about six different bears hitting the bait right now. Uh, two of them are pretty decent size, one with a white patch. So we'll definitely be looking for, for one of them. Um, we had our first sit about a week and a half ago. We had a decent sized bear come in, watched it for a little while, but uh, it's just not quite what we're looking for. And it's still a, it's still a little early in the season. So we waited. And uh, this is gonna be our second sit now. So let's get to it. I brought uh, a big thing of molasses with me and a giant bag of jello powder. So we're just gonna smear that molasses all over everything, slap some jello powder on there, and then we'll get up in the tree stand. stubby legs on him. Didn't really have that girth in, in his head. But he's definitely been eating well. So well that he's picky about what he wants to eat. It was pretty cool though seeing him rub his head all over the molasses. That was only 20 minutes since we sat up here so I'm tight and hopefully some more show up.
Another camera hung up. I love this camera. It texts the photos directly to my phone. It has an extremely long battery life. It's built for the harshest conditions and has a two year warranty. Check out Reconico Outdoors today. This segment is brought to you by Antler Obsession. Designed, tested, and proven for Canadian big game. Not even ready. <laughs> These moments go by so quick. You put in so much work scouting and baiting and checking cameras, watching the bear show up, and then when the guy that you want finally shows up, it's over like that. When we hit that bear with the arrow, he took off, and there was a sow with two cubs that were really close by and they just took off into the tree. We passed them on the way in here. They're still sitting up in the tree. Mama's gotta make sure her cubs are safe, so. Cause uh, we got pictures the other day of this bear and another big one with the white patch and they kind of got into it at the bait, but he seems to be more of the dominant one cause the other, the other bear took off. And yeah, we've seen as soon as this guy came in, there was another younger bear at her bait and he took off. And then them sow, that sow and the cubs went up the tree. Hey guys, so here he is. And what a bear. Like the neck is absolutely huge. Nice big head on him. Beautiful coat. And it's starting to rain. Wow. Yeah, like I was saying, we baited a few weeks ago and kept checking the trail cameras. 
and there was uh, two bigger boars showing up. This was one of them. And uh, just today, within like an hour of sitting, we had a few bears show up, some of the smaller ones and a sow with her cubs. And then uh, the bears took off and then this guy came storming in, tried to claim his dominance and we sent an arrow through him. What an experience. What a bear. Look at that head. I am so happy with that. So we're gonna get them all skinned up and uh, start packing out of here. Subscribe to the Non-Typical Nation podcast and keep up with the team on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Oh man, Old Smokes, that is a great cup of coffee. And I really like the ambience in your shop here with all these wonderful racks on the wall. Yeah, we smoke roast these little buggers. We don't conventionally roast them like the other guys. We thought it brings the natural flavors. Come on, you guys. You're always talking about racks. You gotta check out my rack. I just picked this thing up this morning. How do you like them? Use code NONTYPICAL for 10% off your order today.